So in order to make uh, ampules, you have to start with glass blend, which is just a, a pipe. And glass was made by fire and can be treated and cut by fire. So that is how it's done. Uh, you take a piece of a glass pipe about one foot long and score it with a tungsten carbide knife. And then you have that area. You need to moisturize it to provide the heat shock. You take a glass rod, make it hot. And glass is uh, melting. And just touch the area. And that glass pipe now is, is broken. Freshly cut pipe is very sharp. So we need to fire polish it. So we put it in a flame for some time and you could see it cracked, but we can feel that crack with the flame. But it is important to keep in mind that hot glass and uh, cold glass look exactly the same. So now we need to work to get some sort of handle because we will need to stretch it and make a needle. That's what we really need to work with glass. Again, the trick is to make even rotation which takes some practice to provide even heating of glass because you don't want to overheat one part versus another. Then you gently pull it and that's how you make a needle or the area handle to make the ampule. Now we have ampule blank. It just only needs to be closed the bottom. And again, the trick is you need to heat it evenly by a fast spinning. And when glass becomes mellow, you just pull it off and take little pieces off. And then you have to put it in your mouth to shape the bottom. So it will become looking really like a good test tube or ampule. So now this part is done. It needs to be pulled off before we will make a Mac. Stretch molten glass a little bit. So this needs to be sitting 10-15 minutes. Like this little piece, this is a broken, to repair a broken piece of glassware. In order to do that, we have to have a glass stretched. To have a needle, needle is important, that uh, thin part coming out of the pipe, because it will become a handle. Just wait a little bit. So this now becomes our handle. So since it's thin glass, we can hold it. Now we need to make this little dimples or bumps in the surface of a glass. For that purpose, we need to have a, a piece of wood because that's what we're gonna press it against. So it will be a little smoke, but hopefully no fire. But if you would like to make the flat area for attachment to pipe, we need to blow a little ball over here. So this piece is essential. When we make this little bubble, it's very thin. So when we will break that very thin piece of glass and level it, we should end up with handle like that. So this is a perfect for attachment to a different 
vessels such as flasks or repair condensers. The trick of working with glass is patience and uh, always continuous rotation when we work with pipes and flasks to make even heating. Patience, no magic.